So, hi guys. I am recording this on my dad's phone because mine is broken, but out of frame right here, down below, I have this big bu big box of cars that I own. They are mine. They are not borrowed, nothing. But I, th I had the stupid idea of pulling this tub out and telling you, and I also have some of some big ones out of shot here, out of shot over here, um, there are models, I'll show you some of them, that I'll tell you some of them, this is the only one I've built, the others are my grandfather's, he let me have them, um, but yeah, so let's get into it, and I will tell you how long I've had these, where I got, where I got them, how I got them, when I got them, so yeah. So the first one we're gonna do is this is from the series Matchbox Working Rigs, real working rigs. It is a Scania Mobile Command Center by Matchbox. It has a it has a pop up satellite uh, for TV and radio, and also let me see, it has this. It has a ladder, and that just. It has a ladder on the side. And I've had this for a while now. Um, I think I got about a year ago or so. Um, I've used this a lot. And yeah. So we're going to get into the next one. Uh, oh, this is a newer one. Actually, these two are newer ones that I got. This is... Sorry, I'm setting, up, setting this up against one of the buildings that I use. Because I don't have anything to set it up on but this is a world war ii b24 liberator um it has a tail gunner on the back what what it had on the real plane is a nose gunner ball gunner ball turret gunner that's the engineer ball turret ball turret gunner tail gunner so and side gunners and it was a heavy bomber used in World War II, and I haven't had this for about a year. I got it last month, or early this month, I believe. And yeah, I really like it. Um, I play with it a lot. And yeah. So the next one that is new is uh, this P-51 Mustang. Dad, what model is this? That's, uh, that's a Mustang. Okay, so I was right. Does, does it have a, a ram scoop on the bottom? Yeah, see, the, this little part on the bottom? It's a okay. little, little jump. That is so, right. this is a P 51G model. Um, they were produced in the late wars. These, this came out in the late World War II of. Well, World War II. And I got this a few weeks ago, a few weekends ago. At Wings Over Houston Air Show as a souvenir, it's really cool. It has it has bombs on here. It has fixed landing gear on this model, uh, on this on this in the real plane. Of course, it had um, gear that would fold up, and this is actually the paint scheme of the red tails of the Tuskegee Airmen that flew in World War Two. So the next one is this water truck. By Matchbox, it comes in a park, park five pack. Uh, I got this a few years ago or a year ago or so. Um, but yeah, this is what it is most. It's mostly not used in like small state parks, but in like big parks, like probably Yellowstone or something. Uh, you would find these. And yeah, I may be making a part two because I haven't even gotten to the middle part of the cars. So the next one came with the P-51, it was in a play set of, this is a Sherman tank, World War II Sherman tank. Uh, it has the 50 caliber machine gun on it, 50 caliber machine gun mounted on top, that's what they had on the tanks. It has an M1919 right here. A 1919 right here, a spare track, bolt cutters, and this is a full 360 degree turret. But the you can move the barrel up and down. Uh, you can roll it. 
uh, you can roll it, the tracks move, real tracks, um, it has an extra wheel right here, and yeah, so part two will be coming out shortly, uh, this is half of what I own, I will end this, I'll end part one right now, then I'll move into part two, so yeah, thanks for watching part one, and see ya.